catch my breath a moment. How's everybody doing? Everyone okay? If you need anything hollow, water, whatever, you know. Packed real tight in here. Gotta look after yourself, you know. Yeah, all these songs came out on a record we put out 12, or wrote 12, 13 years ago. I lose track of time. Didn't ever expect to, uh, you know, as a, as a person in, my, in our mid-twenties, don't think we ever anticipated we'd be uh, playing these songs still 12 years later in our mid-thirties, least of all across the Atlantic Ocean in Germany with all of you tonight. I appreciate all of you giving us the opportunity to keep living out this fucking childhood dream of being in a punk band. It uh, is... We do, we do, we do, uh, we don't take it for granted, honestly, and, uh, and particularly after not being able to do it for three years, I think when you are wrenched away from something you love so much, you figure out ways to distance yourself from it emotionally so as to not feel its absence so acutely, and I think in some ways we all did that during the three years of COVID shutdown, not being able to play live music, and uh, I don't think we really realized how much this still means to us until we were able to come and play shows like this and to be a part of this community again. So thank you for... It's a, it's a forgive me for my lengthy speech, but... Uh, it's a funny, a funny thing that happens when you, when you make a piece of art, whatever it might be, you write a poem, paint a picture, uh, write a song, take a photograph, you freeze a moment in time, you, you find something that inspires you to create in the first place, a, a moment in time, a, 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 an experience, an emotion, a feeling, a story, and you, f you make it permanent, and uh, you capture that moment as best that you're able to, and... Uh, that's what these songs are for us. They are songs written in our early 20s in our home state of Michigan, which was at the time experiencing an economic recession that had not hit the rest of our country or the rest of the world yet. And we were watching homes get foreclosed on and factories closed and seeing uh, for the first time, I think in our lives, people close to us struggling financially, emotionally, physically, and uh, and so we made these songs about our hometown of Grand Rapids, and uh, we froze those moments. And over the years, revisiting them, coming back and, and playing them uh, in front of audiences and, uh, you know, all, all over the world, uh, we, we you, you start to, like, you start to, as you grow older and you move on and you are experiencing new things, you sort of divorce the songs from their original intent. They become new things to you because you've gone past that frozen moment, that emotion, that feeling as you've experienced new things, built new relationships, heard new stories, and grown as a person. And uh, in a way they start to resonate less, or, or, or maybe not less, but in a different way, and you look for different reasons to connect them to what you're doing and to feel invested in them emotionally. and. When we came, when we, when it finally started to seem like we'd be able to make this tour happen in the U.S. first, and then, and then over here in the U.K. and Europe, uh, mostly in the U.K. and Germany, um, we started to think about these songs again and started to relearn them and play them through after the hiatus we were forced to take. And um, I think what we realized, particularly after the last three years or the last five, is the world has gotten increasingly hostile to so many people and. And, and gotten so measurably worse in many ways, we realize that these songs are, are still about what they were about when we wrote them and that we still connected those things because tragedy, because loss, because absence, because struggling, because feeling difficult times is universal and happens to us at every age. And there was a time when uh, learning these songs, it was so easy to focus on that aspect of the record, the aspect of the record that's about despair, that's about struggling, that's about feeling a loss acutely, and to ignore the last part of the record, the last three songs, which are what the record is ultimately about, and that's finding a way to cope with that despair, finding a refuge, finding a community that takes care of you, that looks after you, that loves you, that gives you a chance to be 
who you were meant to be. And I think we knew immediately when we played our first show after that break uh, that, that that community is still, is still here and that community still speaks to us and that community is still thriving despite how hostile the world can be to so many people. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for coming out here and for embodying that, for giving everyone here a place to feel safe, to feel included, to feel loved, to be who they were meant to be. Because it means, it means a fuck of a lot. And, uh, and uh, there was a time when I think we all spent more time despairing, focusing on the hopelessness of the world and feeling discouraged that the world might not ever get better in a measurable way. And then we came back and we realized that there are still communities like this all over the world that value each other. And, uh, and uh, it's gonna get it's gonna get it's gonna get more and more important that we keep these spaces safe and that we keep our communities strong because things will get worse and there's no hand coming from the sky to save us. There's no sweeping governmental change that will fix the way things are. We save ourselves. We look after each other, neighbor to neighbor, street to street. That's how we make this world better. So thank you everyone for coming out and for taking care of the people around you. We got a few more songs left.
Olha só. 